here is our schematic scrotum here. The best way to remember the layers of the scrotum is with this mnemonic. Some damn Englishman called it the testicle. Now let's move through each layer to work out those parts. So we have the skin first, and then we peel that back to reveal the dartos muscle. It's the dartos muscle that contracts the skin and makes the scrotum wrinkle when it's cold. And in ancient Greek, dartos means flayed. But for the uninitiated, flaying is the act of peeling someone's skin off. Though I've never been flayed myself, I'm assuming that skin which has been removed looks all wrinkly like the outside of the scrotum. Next we have the external spermatic fascia, and then beneath that, the cremaster muscle. And the cremaster muscle is part of the spermatic cord. Its name is derived from the Greek to hang, which is all sounding a bit morbid, but it's the responsibility mainly of the cremaster muscles to haul the testes up closer to the abdomen when it's cold. The internal spermatic fascia is next. And then we have the tunica vaginalis. Now these last four layers that we've mentioned contribute to the spermatic cord. That's the external spermatic fascia, the cremaster muscle, the internal spermatic fascia, and the tunica vaginalis. It's a good one to remember for your exams. Now I'm going to remove the outer layers, those, those uh, outer layers there, to get a better look at this last one. So the tunica vaginalis is actually an extension of the peritoneum. So when the testicle pushes out of the abdomen, this is the, the part of the peritoneum that it takes with it. And just as the peritoneum has a parietal and a visceral layer, so too does the tunica vaginalis. So that's the visceral layer, here, it sticks to the viscera, which is the organ, and there's the parietal layer, which sticks to the wall. Now, just bear with me for a moment. I'm going to rotate this because I want to show you how the tunica vaginalis reflects back on itself. Just like the peritoneum, uh, as this is one continuous sheet, it reflects back on itself like so. And you'll, you'll hear that word a bit in anatomy, reflection. It just means that the tissue is folding back in the direction that it came from. Around the back, I've deliberately enlarged the open space here to make that reflection look a bit more obvious. Now, the last layer is the tunica albiginia, which is white fibrous connective tissue surrounding the testicle, which is in pink here. And now if I remove this tunica vaginalis, you can see at the back, the epididymis hanging off the testicle. And that's all that we have to go through. Let's go backwards now just to, just to solidify all that. So we have the epididymis attached to the testicle. The first layer on the testicle is the tunica albiginia. Then we have the tunica vaginalis, once part of the peritoneum. We have the internal spermatic fascia and then surrounding that, the cremaster muscle, meaning to hang. We have the external spermatic fascia and then we have the dartos, meaning flayed, which wrinkles the scrotum. Lastly, we have the skin on the outside. Hit subscribe if you liked this video. Click the link below to have a look at this model yourself. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.